is Tampa Tech and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Alright, today we're going to fix the Vizio TV. And uh, model number is V047L as in Larry. Made in April 2008. And usually in 2008, it's an LCD. Usually in uh, 2008, they had those bad capacitors. So we're going to find out if that's the case. Alright, so it hit TV and power. You hear the clicking on and clicking off. Come on. Turn on. Oh, got a light. Got a light. Lights on. No one's home. Nothing's going on. So, no power. It turns on, it turns off. So, that sounds like capacitors in the power supply. So, let's confirm it. So, what you want to do is unplug the power cord. Um, you can also unplug the power cord, wait about five minutes, and then plug it back in and see if it turns on. That's called a hard reset. Uh, but, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a power supply issue. TV turns on, turns back off. So that's pretty common for this TV. So basically you want to unscrew all the screws around the border, all around here. And so after you take off those screws on the top panel, you don't want to take off the bottom screws right there because it actually comes off, believe it or not, right here. All right, so you just take this off like that. And let's take a little look, see what you got here. So the power goes in here, and then it goes to the power supply. And the power supply converts it from AC current to DC. And obviously we got an issue with the power supply. Look at that. What the heck? Obviously we have to order the power supply. Because it looks like there's a bunch of parts that just got toasted. That it looks like <coughs> this thing was smoking, barbecuing. Holy crap. So, I don't even have to troubleshoot it. I know it's the power supply. Look at that. That thing got toasted. I can smell it too. Oh, yeah. It smells like. Uh, Burnt metal. Oh, it's a bolt capacitor too back there. I don't know if you can see that. There you are, your little bolt capacitor is hiding. So maybe, actually, just to be on the safe side, I'll probably just order the power supply because um, it could have took out a lot more parts. Look, it looks like it took out quite a few parts. This looks like it's been there's a fire perhaps in here. Yeah. Just be, I think the power supply is like 50 bucks. It, may, it might be anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks. Shopjimmy.com or something. Or Amazon. One of those places. So that was a pretty easy fix. Um, I'm not sure if this is a common fix. But it looks like there's no other capacitors are bulged. I see, I see only one bulged capacitor right back there. And uh, it's a 470 microfarads. 35 volt and um, that's the sticker number so we just gotta order that part number right there the sticker and that should fix it that's it that's how you fix this TV so on this particular oh my god look at that there's a part there's parts over here. it's falling apart oh, wow. it has leprosy <laughs> <laughs> your diagnosis for your TV we diagnosed it with leprosy it's falling apart anyway so hopefully with the new power supply you know, I'm pretty confident I was I would say 99% confident that it will turn on uh, with that new power supply in it and again that model number is V047L as in Larry and how come it never it's oh my god it's never the fuse it's never something simple like a fuse I mean, I usually 99% of the time it's never the fuse. It's always something else. The fuse is never really doing its job like it's supposed to. See, a fuse should have blown if that, you know, it would have been nice. Easy fix, but no. This thing looks like it took out one, two parts and the capacitor, three parts maybe. Oh, maybe four. 
and who knows what else. Looks like I fried the board pretty well. Fryer. And back there, I don't see anything else bad. And capacitors. The capacitors could look good, but still be bad, by the way. So that's why it's just, I don't know. I, when you see this much damage, I usually just order the power supply. But you could, you could fix those parts. You have to get the schematic and find out what they're rated and what kind of parts are they are. I can't even read the board. The location numbers are burnt off. So, usually find the schematics online somewhere. Download it. It's like a, a file. Helps this video helps you guys out. And uh, post a comment, share, like. Anyone who has a Vizio TV, share this on Facebook. Uh, and uh, subscribe, Tampa Tech.